In this video I want to take a little trip around the world and have a look at these guys here. I'll start with a little blurb on the beginning of electricity in our culture. I just found this from this website here. I'll put the link in the description. Um, don't really want to give a history lesson here, but just wanted to illustrate the uh, timeline of the introduction of electricity into our culture. Um, if you've been into any of this kind of research, you already know it's a pretty suspicious timeline. Um, and I'm going to help illustrate that in this video. So you have the early days blurbs, the early inventions, Ben Franklin gets in there with his kite, and you get to the war of the currents, the Tesla, Edison wars, AC, the DC, all the rest of it. That's the 1893 um, World's Fair, Chicago World's Fair, um, where this peaked apparently, and then this they're basically setting this date as the introduction of uh, illumination and electricity. And then from that date on, so 1893 on, um, we're to accept that it spread across the world. And uh, I want to show you some pictures that I found. And most of these pictures are in that, um, I would say, 18. 90 to 1910, 1915 timeline. Um, we'll take a little trip around the world. This is uh, Bahia Blanca, Argentina. And here you have this same look. Okay, looking like uh, power poles, um, but much more going on than what we know of um, for, as for the power poles of today that we might be familiar with. Uh, this is Santiago, Chile. You see a really, really, really tall one here. And you'll notice the shape of some of these start starting to look a bit like a tuning fork. You have that system there as well. So South America will be in for a while here. Santiago again. Almost like a fan network. Grid type fan network. Hopping over to Harbin, China have that same look going on here. And I come across this a lot in my research as well. Um, you see what looks similar to what we're seeing on these poles, but you see this on the roofs of a lot of the buildings. And you might say, okay, well, that's just a stand for a sign that doesn't have the sign on it yet. So I don't think so. I've seen a lot of these and there seems to be more to it than that. So I thought I'd include them in this video. Montevideo, a um, bit of an Eiffel Tower situation going on here, has that uh, feeling of power, electricity, and here you can see that again on the roofs now, or behind the roofs, hard to tell here, this one looks like it might be on a roof, um, that same look, still Montevideo. And now we hop over to Russia and I won't specify the towns for you because I kind of hop around a bit. Um, I wanted to highlight this picture. Um, I, I wanted to highlight these gate type features across the peak here. Um, this is something that comes up a lot in the old world buildings and I I suspect obviously all speculation that there is something um, energy wise or energy related having to do with these gates. There's one of the poles right there. Uh, here you get a decent look at what look like bulbs, maybe, or something like that, on the posts. Like, are they street lamps? I don't know. Strange. A uh, bit of a different look there then. Maybe, maybe they, some of the ones we're seeing that look bare, maybe they've been stripped. Who knows? That's why it does kind of get have the feel of a something that maybe was once used and we're in the process here of repurposing, possibly. Uh, again, that tuning fork look, and that would be chased all the way down the street there, that look. These, these pictures from uh, Irkutsk. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. This is interesting, you got a double whammy here. And again, you can see the bulbs on that, right up tight to the building. I've also seen in some pictures a wire connected to the roof of a building. So these are 
These are ones that sort of jump out as I do the research. I find interesting. Here we have another one. Kazan now. Of course, let's not uh, forget about the architecture. This old world Russian architecture pre-Soviet era before the, the destruction came about. Something, this is interesting here too. There you can kind of see how it sort of chases down the street. But not really having the look of wires, and you'd imagine if it was wires, it'd be a massive web of wires. Like, doesn't really make sense. And there, you get that, that depth as well, line. There's the tuning fork, Novosibirsk. Oh, this would be Omsk. Here you have that flood narrative, so not just in the west. This, these uh, narratives seem to repeat themselves all over the realm. Uh, fires, floods, earthquakes, uh, wars, civil wars. Oh, I. I would propose all part of a, a reset narrative that we are pulling apart. All right, now we get to Saratov. I found some interesting shaped poles here. Move ahead a little bit there. That's a good look there. Right here, this one really sort of stands out. Um, jumps out at you. Probably, possibly having something to do with the tram lines. Looking like we've got some overhead wires now built in here. Um, but you don't always see this mess of overhead wires with the tram line, so there's, a, I think, a, a, a crossing over from old to new going on around this time frame as well. So um, and this obviously continuing down the street there. Very interesting look those have. This giving you a pretty good look as well. The little bulbs there knobs or whatever it might be. It doesn't look like the people living here are benefiting from any sort of electricity. It looks like they're digging themselves out of a ditch, figuratively and literally. There we have that. All this Saratov. And there another good look at one of these. What do you think? Throw something in the comment section. What's your take? It's all speculation. Don't be afraid to speculate. That's how we move a little further on down the road, I think. You can see it right here as well. Chasing down, down the way. Still Saratov, you get these get a good look at what's going on here in grid sort of network looking similar to the uh, center of the road I don't know what we call them posts um, having to do with the uh, rail cars again remember all this has supposedly the rail cars and the electricity all this having just sprung on the scene at the end of the 1800s and as we look through some of these photos um, and we look at the infrastructure and the roads. The roads having a very old, weathered feel. Much of the uh, cobble or brick looking very rounded over and having been worn down for a very, very long time. Which is why I remain skeptical of the official narrative. See that going all the way down the way here. Oh, this is still Saratov. This is a really, really good look at this one here looking, I would suggest looking like infrastructure that's been here for quite some time. Not some sort of new invention. And you see it right here in front of the building. Oddly positioned. If that were something new that had just been introduced, it's, it seems like a strange spot. Here. You can see it sort of just nestled in there. Also very high sidewalk curb um, built up possibly 
uh, also possibly built down, maybe bricks removed. Uh, I'm not looking all that natural. Also finding this very unique at the top of this building, not having the same feel as the architecture, uh, perhaps a bit more industrial. to St. Petersburg. I'll try and roll through these a little quicker. St. Peter Petersburg again. See the, the same situation going on here. Doing fork shape. Now we're in Salt Lake City. Jumped on over. And I'm only really including a small handful of of areas of the world, but these uh, these can be found all over the place. Just to give you a bit of a sampling. This one's saying copyright 1898. I thought this was interesting. You know, this is kind of an odd photograph, but you have the bulbs. Remember the timeline again, 1893, 1898. Introduction of bulbs everywhere. Uh, look at the chains. Just an interesting photo. Uh, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Just a small sample there. And Cheyenne, Wyoming. So this is the last photo I have in this collection. I just wanted to um, get this out there because um, it does definitely attract the eye, the shape of these things. And I do feel like there's more to the story. Um, I mean, it's easy for people to pawn off as uh, anything if they're not really um, if you weren't there, um, please don't say you know exactly what was going on. That uh, really only paints you out as being ignorant. Um, leave it up in the air. It's the best way to do it. And I think that's how we get to the bottom of this. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.